Nou, om hier in de Nenodijn. Een strange place, this. Well, that tiny little barn over the well, millennia has carved out this gorge, really. Is the only word for that. And uh, this sort of thing happens here. People bring trinkets and oddments. Now that um, well, that outcrop up there, that will be. Probably about 25 feet above me, down in the bottom. So from the top to the bottom, it's probably something like oh, 30 feet. And that outcrop up there is relatively high. I was here once before, and in this slightly deeper run under the outcrop there. Someone had made a salmon trap, which I think was optimistic in the extreme. It was a traditional one made of willow ones, which I've never seen anywhere else in Scotland anyway. It's the same pattern as was used in as far back as medieval times. Now I think that that rock there has uh, been called the pulpit rock and it, it's hard to avoid likening the, the jaggedness in its lower half to, well, uh, a rather good face with an eyebrow, a definite shadow under the nose and a chin below that Now that rock face up there behind those uh, trees it's peppered with tiny holes that people put coins in for luck. And in the top of the pulpit, there is a stone, a stone hole, very well known. Well, I'll oddity that one, it's about oh, two, three feet across. And uh, a couple of feet deep, I think. And no one's very sure what it was done for. Underneath this big outcrop there, this lump underneath it, I'm sure that's fallen down since the last time I was here. The upper face of it still looks kind of fresh. I'm maybe imagining that. Yes, I think it must be. Strange place. There's a cleft in the Rock up there, that dead tree's lying on. Oops, I didn't lose my footing. I hadn't planned on coming here today, and this is a, a second choice because my first one was to do some shooting with a drone, but it was a bit too windy where I wanted to do that. So I stopped in here and I'll be back. Just for a look. I wasn't sure if maybe I could fly the drone down here, but I'm not sure I would get a GPS fix with all the, the tree canopy up there. I think probably I would, but uh, maybe later in the year when the leaves are off the trees. We'll see. There we are. Clip at the Nino Den Mark 2. 
And this is the third of the three main outcrops down here. That's a very fissured one, that. I guess it must be water draining down over the years as it's only carved along those cracks in the rock face. And I think I'll just keep the the phone's camera running as I make my way back down to the to the steps. Because round the back of the pulpit rock there's a, a rudimentary staircase been cut into the rock face. This is probably wobbling all over the place because I forgot to bring the gimbal. Well, not so much forgot as didn't think I'd be using the gimbal today. Yeah, I don't want to go that way. I want to go the lower, the lower path. Yeah, and there's the steps just showing now. From down here, they look better than they actually are. And quite why some would have gone to all the trouble to cut the steps. Now, there's some of the, the coins and the rock face. Some of them obviously been there a very long time. Try and stop the camera from bobbing about too much. <laughs> I'm getting out of breath. Oops. Now the sun's blinding the, the camera's lens. Blinding me too, really. And this is the top of the pulpit rock. If indeed I've got it right, that that's the title of it. And there's the hole that was mentioned. Oh, buffed. Now this den continues on for a goodly way down towards Stravithy. It's quite heavily wooded. There we are. Den and den. Den and den, rather.